Social inclusion to me is um, like like I've said before, you know, getting involved in the community and just uh, interacting with people without disabilities because so that they can become more accepting of us and embrace us rather than be afraid of us. That to me is what social inclusion means. It means the unity of people with and without disabilities. For me, I think it's so cool now that the Special Olympics has a unified approach to things now where athletes with and without disabilities compete together. I think that's almost the best awesome way for people without disabilities to learn about us and to see that we're not much different and uh, adaptations don't define us, we define us. Um, and that's really the biggest and most important thing about social inclusion is just the acceptance. Part of the inclusion, you know, the social inclusion is that's actually how I met my wife too, you know, we were We've been married for five years. We've met each other like t twice, actually. Uh, the first time we competed against each other in adaptive sports, then we reconnected eight years later, and here we are happily married. And we have a DSP, a direct support professional person who, uh, who basically just comes in, and I mean, we are very independent. It's just sometimes we don't pay attention to our own limitations, and so, Sometimes it helps to have somebody come in because then um, you get what you want done when you can. And we have her two days a week. It's very important that we continue to include people with developmental and intellectual disabilities in our communities because they are people just like everyone else. And please remember that people with developmental and intellectual disabilities can get married like me and my wife, even with the adaptations, to help us to become a successful husband and wife.